So today I'm going to try something a wee bit different. You just heard a remake I'd done of Tiesto's song Maximal Crazy Bass Jackers remix. Um, this is the second break, so after the first drop, this section comes in. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you that lead synth you heard at the start, the pluck one. Uh, this one here. Um, so I'll show you how to make that, but also I'm going to make this project file which includes, uh, you know, the trance lead, um, second lead, the bass, um, what else, there's a organ sound in here as well. Um, I'm going to make this all available. Um, once I've reached 500 likes on my Facebook page, so I think I've got about 230 so far, so about 270 to go. I'll post the link in the description so you can um, tell all your friends and get me as many likes as possible. And as soon as I've got uh, 500 likes, I'm going to upload the link for this project file and all the combinators. So you can download it and see how I put this together, what effects I've used, how it's been mixed, etc, etc. So, yep, get liking my Facebook page, Digital Switchover, just type it into uh, the search and tell everybody you know. And I'll let I'll upload the the project file for it. So another thing, I've just entered the Stevie Yoki remix competition on Beatport. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, it would be awesome if you guys could support me on that. I'm also going to post the link uh, below this video where you can go and listen to it. Uh, I think the voting starts on the seventh. Um, but anyway, that's enough of that stuff. Uh, we'll get right into making this. So. Um, gonna create a combinator, and in that combinator, we're gonna want to create a four polysonic synthesizer. Then you're gonna want to right-click and initialize the patch. Take the polyphony down to one, and the release polyphony down to one. Now you're gonna want to set it to mono retrig, and make sure this portamento is switched off. Click Show Programmer, um, turn the first oscillator off, the second oscillator you're going to want analog, uh, you're going to want to make it a square wave, bring the octave down to 3, and the tune you're going to want to touch up to 5, and the pulse width you're going to want at 61. And then oscillator 3, analog again, make it a square wave. This time, the octave you're going to want up at 5, uh, the tune fine, the pulse width you're going to want at 62. Uh, don't ask why I used oscillator 2 and oscillator 3 instead of oscillator 1 and 2. Uh, you can do it that way. Um, doesn't really make a difference, but you might have to change my mixer settings if you do use 1 and 2. So anyway, if you're going to do it like this, uh, you're going to want to set the mixer 1 and 2 balance to 13. And you're going to want to bring this down slightly to minus 2.5. And for uh, oscillator free level, you're going to want to put right up to zero decibels. Uh, also, you're going to want to turn on two and three here so the oscillators go through the filter. 
So moving on to the filter, low pass ladder filter is fine. Uh, you're going to want to change it to type 12 and the frequency you're going to want to bring down to 963 hertz. Sorry, 90.63 hertz. Or 96.3 hertz, sorry. It's early in the morning. So 96.3 hertz, there you go. Um, the reds leave at zero. Uh, for the envelope amount, you're going to want to put up to 97. Uh, the velocity, you're going to want a 69. And the, this you're going to want up to 127. And then the last couple of things we're going to do on the actual synthesizer is first we'll shape the sound using the filter envelope. So the attack you're going to want to bring up ever so slightly to 0 0.4 milliseconds just to get rid of that initial click. Uh, the decay you're going to want at 159. Milliseconds, there you go. Sustain at minus 27.6. And the release all the way up. And then for the amp envelope, you are going to want the attack at zero, uh, the decay at 827 milliseconds, or 21 seconds. Uh, Sustain at minus 15.9 and the release you're going to want at 105. So that's the synthesizer done. Um, next, we're going to add an EQ effects M class equalizer. Uh, turn the low cut on turn low shelf on and bring the frequency gain and Q all the way down and then param 1 uh, set the frequency to 5.63 5.637 kilohertz the gain you're going to want to nudge up to 3.4 decibels and the Q you're going to want to bring down to 2.9. And then turn on param 2. Uh, you're going to want to bring this down to 600. Uh, 600. 604. Um, the gain. You're going to want to bring up to 2.9 and the Q you're going to want to bring down slightly to 5.4 and that's that. Um, now we're going to add a screen for distortion unit. Um, change the algorithm to overdrive and the damage amount down to 48. For param 1 you're going to want at 62. Uh, param 2 at 109 and turn off this body we're not going to use it for the cut we're going to take um, the low fill it down to minus 16 the mid you're going to want at 0 and the high you're going to want to leave at 11 and then uh, going to use uh, right click and we're going to use a uh, delay unit DDL1 digital delay line uh, set this to milliseconds and bring it down to 117 And then make sure the step lamps at 1 over 16 as well. 
the feedback you're going to want at 89. Pan leave the center and the wet bring down to 10. And then we're also going to add a filter, so right click, effects, envelope, control filter, you're going to want. Put the frequency all the way up and make sure it's on uh, 24 mode. Low pass filter 24. Uh, now we're going to right click again and add a RV7000 advanced reverb unit. Now you're going to want the decay at. Actually, you're going to want to turn this EQ enable off first. Uh, you're going to want the decay at 111. Um, the high frequency damp, you're going to want up at 98. And the high EQ, you're going to want at minus 64. And for the dry wet, you're going to want to bring down to 20. And then click show programmer, make sure it's set to plate and pre-delay we're going to put up to 10 milliseconds and low frequency dab, just put up to 36 and that's it, there's one last thing we're going to do um, uh, we're going to create an aux channel, auxiliary channel it's used as an effect uh, here's the one I've made, I'll just delete this and start again. So, if you go up to your master section, or above your master section, or below your master section, depending on which version it is you're using of Reason, um, you're going to want to create an auxiliary effect. So, if you hold the shift key, and right click, and create a scream for distortion unit. And now press the tab key. And you'll see the wires haven't connected anything because you uh, held down shift. Um, so then from the input, you're going to want to take it, the left input of the screen for distortion unit, and route it to the next available um, FX send on your uh, master section. So auxiliary 7 is fine. And then if you go across the FX return, you're gonna to need to take the same, uh, the same number that the same number of input you put in. So number seven of the X FX at return, you're gonna to want to take and put it in the output of the screen for distortion. So now that means if you go to the mixer, um, you'll see there screen screen distortion units in auxiliary five. So if any channel you want it on, you just click that to turn it on and use this level control to well control the amount of the screen for distortion that's coming to that channel um, yep so for the actual unit itself you are going to want to uh, change it to the algorithm to digital and bring the damage down to 60 param 1 you're going to want up at 127 and um, param 2 you're going to want at 104 and then for the cut you're going to want the high at minus 8 and the mid and low both at 0 and turn the body off master you're going to want at 85 so just leave that there it's fine now for this pluck synth I well, I had it set in auxiliary 5, so if I turn it on to 7, um, I had it set to minus 28, minus 28.11 decibels. Um, basically, this is just a bit crusher, which adds a bit more depth to the sound. Um, you can actually add it to the combinator patch if you want, but I quite like putting it on the auxiliary. You get a bit more control over the amount you put through. Um, so that's the synth, basically. Hope it didn't get a bit too confusing there at the end. Um, so, yeah, as I said before, this project file with all the combinators, etc., etc., is going to be available once I reach 500 likes on my Digital Switchover Facebook fan page. Uh, so get telling everyone you know, 
Um, I'll post a li link to that page down below in the description. And also, please check out my Stevie Yoki uh, remix submission on the Beatport uh, remix contest. Um, and that's about it for today. So thanks very much, guys. See you next time.